Hey everyone and welcome to the long-awaited desk tour. I've been saying about doing this video for a really long time and I just want to show you my very small workspace. It is very compact so if you have a small space to work with it might just help give you some ideas and how I fit everything into my desk and how I have space to work. I really love my little workspace. It's not very kind of Instagram worthy. I know a lot of people have these really beautiful um, perfect desks that are very minimalistic. Mine is not like that it's just very me I've got everything that I just want to have I've got it exactly how I like it but it's um you know a bit jazzy a bit colorful and a lot of stuff going on but that is just me I will try and link as many things as possible that I am showing you because I know often people want to know where I got it from so wherever possible the links will be below so let's get right into it and I will show you how I organize my desk so as you can see, there's quite a lot going on here, like I was saying. So let's go through it section by section. But first of all, let's talk about the actual desk. So this is an Ikea desk. It's called Mickey, funnily enough. And it actually is in two parts. So you have the desk part here um, with the drawers and then the back part is separate. So you don't have to have both. You can just have the bottom if you want to. And it's just a really great desk for a very small space. I actually have my desk here in our bedroom. And the reason I have so many lights on my desk is because I don't know if you can see here but the balcony from the apartment above overhangs the window for this room and makes it very dark so even during the day if it's sunny and everything this corner of the room is extremely dark and I don't know about anyone else but I don't like having the main bedroom lights on during the day I prefer to use natural lights and just have the addition of these lights now I do have my studio light on so that you guys can see everything properly let me just switch that off so you can see what I mean so that <laughs> is during the day. So it's about 4 p.m. It's not dark outside and that is how dark it can be. Now it does actually look darker than it is now I see it on the camera, but I do have my lights and that's just perfect, really nice lighting for me. But yeah, this is what it looks like with the studio light on because we need to see what we're doing. My desk chair is also from Ikea and it's got this gray fabric and white frame. I do have this back pillow that kind of attaches onto it. I must admit it's not the most comfortable chair in the world and I probably will be looking to get something a little more comfortable in the future. It is a swivel chair so it's good for using in an office but it's on carpet so it doesn't really wheel around properly so I may just as well have a kind of static chair that's more comfortable and I think it would be just as good. So I'm going to start with the kind of decorative things I've got going on. So the lights are all from Amazon. I've got two sets here and this set is really really cute so it's got little stars and just the individual lights but it's kind of on like a vine type thing and it goes all the way along the top there and then I have a second set of lights which are just stars unfortunately they don't totally match these ones are kind of a warmer yellow color and these are more white but I think it's fine and it's just nice having the extra ones to really brighten up my workspace so I can see what I'm doing properly and I want to find a more permanent solution to attach these because at the moment I just have them up using my magnets but I'm really bad for changing my mind and I didn't want to kind of put them in place in any more of a permanent way before I've definitely decided that I want them there. So back to the other decorative things I have here. This little vase and flower are both from the range. I just thought this was cute. I really liked the little kind of heart pendant on there and the way that the vase looks with the little lights next to it. And this Jo Malone candle was actually a wedding gift. So we've had this for quite a while. Um, it's really nice though. I just love it. And um, the fragrance is really good. So sometimes I just take the lid off to kind of waft that out of there but I don't like to light it because it's just so lovely and I know it's pointless having candles and not lighting them but I've just got a bit of a thing about that. Comment below if you also do that. I know it's a really weird uh, thing to do, but there you go. Next up, I have my Mickey jewelry hanger. So this is really cute. You can put earrings along the top here and then just hang necklaces and bracelets on there. I've got my charm bracelet, a couple of others, and I do also have my little coach Wizard of Oz keychain on there because he is so cute. And this jewelry hanger was from Primark. I don't know if they still have it. It's got like the kind of faux marble base. I just thought that was really nice up there. Then I have my little plant. It's not actually real. I'm, I'm not very good at keeping anything alive. So this is just really nice with the kind of copper rose gold colored um, pot. And yeah, it's just a little fake plant, but yeah, I can't keep real ones alive. So I wouldn't um, subject any plant to being in my care. Then I have a little mirror here because I do actually do my hair at my desk and I have this lotions and potions box as well. And that's mainly hairstyle 
stuff in there. There's a few other things as well. So I just have this mirror so when I'm sat at my desk, I can see what I'm doing for my hair. And on the shelves at the side here, I will go into the things at the bottom in a moment because they are functional, but I've got some decorative things up here. And I didn't actually need these for any specific reason. I didn't have anything to put in them at the time. If I ever do, I would obviously move these things away and put something practical in there. But I just have my Huda Beauty lipstick tin. I think it was a special thing I bought at Christmas. It just had a lipstick set in there, but I loved the tin. Actually, the tin was kind of why I bought it, to be honest. And then I've just got some of my Chanel makeup there and my Urban Decay palettes live on this second shelf with some Zoella perfumes. So those are just things I keep there because I've got that space free. And there is another little set of lights in here because it does get a bit dark in that corner. These are just battery ones though. I meant to say earlier, both of the sets of lights over here run on USB because that's much easier if you want to have them on all the time. Obviously battery ones would keep running out. So this back portion of the desk, which as I was saying, you don't have to have, this just can be an attachment that you put on there. It's actually magnetic on the back. So so you are able to put anything you want up here. I have these magnets, which I bought in a set from Amazon. They have four different colors and they have the large, medium and small ones. So depending what you are putting up there, um, you can get the right size magnet. And I tend to change up quite a bit what I have on the back. It just depends what's going on. I do have a big monthly planner, which is magnetic that I sometimes put up there. But at the moment, I've just got some nice pictures and things. I obviously have my... Disney countdown chalkboard, which my friend Claire bought me. Absolutely have to have that. I need to actually change that to 35, I think. I'm a little bit behind. And this picture is from our wedding. And I just thought this was so cute. I bought this in the co-op marketplace in Disney Springs. And it's obviously just got the Disney friends. And then I just thought it kind of was similar to my picture with my friends. So I just like to have those two together. I think that's really cute. Then this little art print was also from the co-op marketplace at Disney Springs. I just love this. I love Rapunzel. I love Tangled. And I just thought this was adorable so I had to have that. Moving down to here this photo is actually the first ever photo taken of me in Florida. This was back in November 2002 and because it's the first ever picture I have in Florida I just like to keep it there. I'm sitting on a giant Barbie shoe and if anybody has been going to Florida for years this is Point Orlando on International Drive. You may recognize it, it looks very different now uh, but I just like to keep that there for kind of sentimental reasons. And I also have some little cards here from internet friends. There's one there from the lovely Joanna who runs Mila Mouse Ears and she just makes the most amazing Disney ears and behind that one is one from Catherine who has an Etsy store called Catnip and it's absolutely amazing I just love her so I will link both of their stores below so let's get into the actual practical stuff so in this bottom shelf is my notebook shelf now I know you guys who are also obsessed with stationery will know that you always have a million notebooks that you don't need some of them I do use others are waiting to be used and other ones it's a bit annoying it's where I've kind of started a project in them um, but they are mostly still empty so they're just waiting to be kind of repurposed so there's several notebooks along here I've got Disney ones this is a Kath Kidston Disney this is from Disneyland Paris I've got an Erin Condren one then I do have some sticker books in here these are all from Erin Condren then I've got this one is like a post-it pad that my mum got me there is randomly a Mac palette in there that obviously just decided to live there then I have an address book book this is a Zoella lifestyle notebook set. It's like some sticky notes and things. This one I think is from Paper Chase. Then I do have some little mini photo albums which have stickers in them. I find these tiny little photo albums really good for putting sticker sheets in. Then I've got a few notebooks here from Paper Chase again. I think there's a few beauty products sneaking in there as well, but that's just where I keep all of my notebooks should I need to grab one. Then here is where my phone lives. So this little stand is from Amazon it folds completely flat or you can fold it out to be sort of laying further back it just depends what you are using it for I just keep my phone on here if I'm watching something on YouTube or just you know whatever I'm doing really it's just handy to have it there and just at the front here I've got this notepad which is just kind of like a jotter pad I guess you'd call it just to make notes but it's from the Wizarding World in Orlando I got this in the Owl Post store it's just so cute I had to get it 
and is good for just taking kind of quick notes down. And this is where my Erin Condren planner lives. This is the Petite Planner in the Planner Folio. I am loving this setup. I always used to have the Life Planner, but this one is just perfect for me. I do have a video on this, I will link below, and I also have a code for you to get $10 off your first Erin Condren order if it's completely new to you. So I will leave that below as well. But as you will see from this desk, I am Erin Condren obsessed. And back over this way, I just have a coaster. This is one of my Haunted Mansion coasters. And it's obviously the Dear Sweet Leota one because that's the best one. And next to that, I have my wireless phone charger. So I can just set my phone on there to charge it easily. I really love this. I will link it below. I can't remember. I think I got it from Amazon. Um, but it's just really handy to not have to plug the phone in. So I can just set it on there. And here is where things start to get crazy colourful. But I do just like all my colourful things as you know. So this rose gold desk tidy, it was a gift actually but I think it might have been from Wilkinson's but I will link it below if I can find it. And this section is where I just keep some post-it notes and some washi tapes. These ones I think were from Target or Joanne and this one is from Catnip. I was just mentioning Catherine's store and I just love her stuff. Now what I'm thinking about doing is actually getting a washi tape dispenser to sit in here because I don't really use these post-it notes and I think a washi tape dispenser would be better but I'm just looking for one that's definitely going to fit in this gap. As you can see it's quite big because these post-it notes don't even take up the whole room so hopefully I can find that. Then in the front here I have my Disney World trash can highlighter pens and these are just too cute. I got these in Disney World and they're just little highlighter pens and yeah I mean how could I resist those? To be honest the little trash cans are mainly decorative because I do actually use these pale pastel coloured highlighters instead because I find these ones a little bit dark and they kind of print through the page so I normally use these and I've just got some glue there and back here I've got all of my pens. These are generally not my everyday use pens, I've just got scissors in here as well and these cute pens are from Tokyo Disney Resort, they have all the little food pens. This is a cocktail you can get which is in a little flounder cup and the Mike Wazowski melon bread. All of the stuff at Tokyo Disney is just too cute, their stationery is amazing. And you might be wondering why I have a fork in here. There is a little story behind this. When we were in Vegas, we went to a really posh buffet. Someone spotted this little fork and said that it looked like the Dingle Hopper from <laughs> Little Mermaid. And they decided they were going to sneak it into their bag for me. So very naughty, I should not really have this, but don't you think it does kind of look like a Dingle Hopper? Very, very cute. So I just keep that in there. Bit of a random thing to have in your desk, but that's the story behind that. And moving across, we have this acrylic stand. This is from Amazon and in here I've got various different things. I've got some pins. This is my Disney in Detail Patreon pin that you can get if you sign up to be a patron and also I have some pins here, this one and this one from Catherine's shop, from Catnip. This is Gingy and Spice and then you just got Little Gingy there. I want to put these really on a board or something but at the moment I just like them kind of right there and this was actually a greetings card a birthday card that I got and I had to keep it because how funny is this I just love it that's so cute and um, so I just keep that at the front there and this is a notepad which looks exactly like the mini popsicle that you can get at Tokyo Disney but it's actually a notepad this is what I mean about Tokyo Disney having the cutest stationery that is just so awesome then I have more Tokyo Disney snack notebooks this is one which is a to-do list pad I have two smaller ones here that I use when I actually go on Disney trip. I have this to put notes in, just snacks that I want to try and photos I want to take and stuff like that. Then I just have some more little sticky notes and stuff back here, some business cards for people. And back behind here, I just have some hand sanitizer and some hand cream. I really love the Zoella hand creams. She's recently announced, I don't think that she will be doing these anymore, certainly not in this format. My favorite one is the Wonder Hand. That one is amazing. I think this was the Christmas one, but I just keep that there because I do get really bad dry hands. So I apply that probably like 10 times a day. Then I've just got some little clips back here, some more little postcards. This one was also 
from Disney. Then I've just got these funny notes that you can fill out. There's like apology ones. And back here, I've got passive aggressive notes. I got these from the sugar store at the outlets in Orlando. Then more notebooks and I've got a little pencil case. This is actually the Planny pack from Erin Condren. So it's got the elastic strap on it and it just fixes over the top of your planner. So it's like a fanny pack for your planner. Hence the name Planny Pack. Whoever came up with that needs a pat on the back. Um, but they sell these in different colours and you can get loads of your pens and stickers and things like that in there. So that just stays there until I need to actually put it on my planner. And over in this corner, I just have my water bottle that lives there and it's on my Disney in Detail Patreon coaster. Um, so I just keep that there as well. And I have more notebooks, of course I do. And these are the Disney VHS tape notebooks. So I've got Hercules and Beauty and the Beast. And these ones are so much better than the ones you can buy at Disney World because they have the really hard plastic cover. So they really do feel like a proper VHS tape. And also the paper inside is white instead of yellow and it doesn't have like the grid paper. It's just regular lined paper. So I absolutely love these as you can see i haven't used them yet because i feel like these are the nicest notebooks and goodness knows how important something's going to be for me to actually use it and write it down in there and these two books are from target this one's three thousand questions about me and this one's writing prompts and it's just like a cute thing to fill in or if you need something to do um, and you don't really like doing puzzle books and stuff it's just kind of something to you know, be a bit creative with some writing. Then I have this notepad, which is still in its cellophane. This one hasn't even got out of the wrapping and it says, get your ducks in a row. I got this from Sugar Boo in Disney Springs. I just love that. I think it's so cute. And the only book I keep at my desk is my Zoe Sugg Cordially Invited book. This is all about parties, entertaining and different things like that. And I definitely want to use some of the ideas in that book if I'm having people over. There's stuff about dinner parties and stuff as well. So I just really like to keep that there if I have a little moment to read it. And at the front here, I obviously have my laptop and my hard drive. And underneath the laptop, I do have a desk pad. And it's this weekly planner pad. This is from Primark and it's got the really nice gold foiling. I don't know if you can see that. There it is and you can just plan out your week. I must be honest, I don't generally use this very often because I have my Erin Condren planner, but sometimes it is handy if I've got a lot of tasks to do to just be able to see them at a glance. And then I just have my mouse as well. This isn't a genuine Apple one. This I got from Amazon, but it works perfectly well. And I do find that this is enough space for me to have the hard drive, have my mouse and obviously put coffee and stuff and phone chargers. So although this is a small desk, it's perfect if you do have a very small space, but you've got the shelves as well. You can put things back here if you do decide to have this back part. So it's actually a really good desk for a compact space. So let's take a look in the drawers. So this big drawer is right at the front of the desk. So I've got the quill that goes with the pad that you saw up here. Um, I don't often use a quill when I'm writing if I'm totally honest but I do just like to have that then I've got some chalk back here for my little Disney chalkboard some envelopes this is just where I keep my foreign currency card and different things like that and just general stationery I've got more highlighters sellotape and stuff oops sneaky um, emergency biscoff if you watch my videos you will know that I definitely need one of those in there and this is my portable charger this is actually really good the easy act charger I use this when I'm out in Florida to charge my phone when I'm going around the parks and it's really really good I've had it ages and it still works really well and this weird looking thing is just what goes on top of my camera to keep the sound from wind out of the microphone. And this little tin, I just have various USB sticks and memory cards and stuff like that. These are my fabric scissors. I've got thank you cards here. These ones, I forget where they're from. These are from Paper Chase. And I've just got some extra coasters back here. Some of the Disney hotel rooms have these little cardboard coasters. So if I've ever got any additional drinks laying around, then I use one of those. And this little insert is from Tiger. They're actually for makeup and I 
do use some of the other ones I've got for makeup but I've got this one in here and in here I've just got some extra pens my tape measure some mints these are the ones you can get from well Disney World or Disneyland Paris these ones are from Disneyland Paris but they've just got the Disney characters but then once I'm finished with it I use it to put tic tacs and stuff in and these little pegs are really useful they're magnetic on the back and I got these in South Korea they're just super cute and they're really good for using on the board at the back I clearly also have a little lollipop stash these are also from Tiger I bought them ages ago and I haven't really eaten them because I never really fancy them but maybe I should oh there's also a Werther's original in there I feel like these are a bit of a love-hate thing do you like Werther's original comment below and if I ever feel travel sick in the car these things just completely make me feel better so i love them but i try to keep this drawer fairly organized i don't want things all over the place and being really messy so this works out really well it's really big and into this last smaller drawer i have some makeup i don't actually do my makeup at this desk like i was saying the lighting is really bad in here i do my hair so i've just got like hair brushes and some hair bands and stuff but i do keep overflow makeup in here my makeup bag is in the other room where i would use it every morning and in here are just just extra palettes I don't use every day um, some you know just extra things and lipsticks that I don't need on an everyday basis so those just live in there and then I also have this cupboard this desk is really quite good for space and I use these little baskets these were from either Amazon or Wilkinson's I think and in here I just put all of the little things to keep them together so they're not just all over the place I've got extra hard drives my other Canon G7X is in there um, these little hearts that I use for taking blog photos and stuff and there's another one back there with just notebooks cards and other things then in this little pouch there's just more practical stuff i've got super glue sticky dots um little things to put pictures up just you know a little practical things and here are the rest of the magnets there's actually white ones in there as well which i did not realize so i might switch all the colored ones for white possibly then another basket of overflow makeup this is stuff i don't want to get rid of but I also don't kind of need all the time, just like nail varnishes and various things. And then in the bottom here, which is the biggest section, I've just got my laptop case for if I'm traveling. Um, I've also got this big concertina file, which has just got important documents in and stuff. Um, this little tin of denial is where I keep my receipts and uh, yeah just lots of different kind of things that are a bit bigger that need to be stored and that pretty much concludes the tour of my desk so i hope you enjoyed that little look at my workspace and i know a lot of you watch my weekly vlogs it's kind of nice sometimes to see in detail where somebody does their work and like i was saying at the beginning i will link as many of the things as i can including the actual desk itself i do find this desk really good it was very inexpensive as well which is great if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and vlogs i upload a vlog every monday and every thursday i have another video like this one or anything else that's going on any other travel that i'm doing i will also link my other channel disney in detail below so you can also check that out and links to my patreon and all my other social media will be there too as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye